The book of Numbers is the saddest book in the Bible. Two thirds of that book should never have been written. The tragedy is, is that from Mount Sinai, the place where God gave Israel the covenant to Kadesh, which was the oasis right at the borders of Canaan, it should have taken Israel 11 days on foot, less than a fortnight, they could have stopped eating manna. They could have been enjoying the wealth of God. They could have been, been enjoying the real estate that they didn't build. But instead of 11 days, it took them 40 years. And the tragedy is, is that only two people made it. God took them the long way. He took them 40 years. They were wandering around. They, they, when God stopped, they stopped. When God moved, they moved. And, and God worked with them slowly uh, because they were redundant. Why were they redundant? Because they missed their opportunity. Sometimes we only get one shot at things in life. And if we miss it, we miss it and we'll never get them back again. How sad. You see, Paul says in Philippians chapter 3, verse 13, it says, he said, instead, I am single minded forgetting the things which are behind and reaching out for those things which are ahead. With this goal in mind, he says, I strive towards the prize of the upward call of Christ in Jesus. Forgetting the past means this. It means accepting God's grace and forgiveness. Forgetting the past means letting go of all those worldly trophies that we hold dear to our heart. Forgetting the past means letting go of the hurts, letting go of the disappointments, letting go of all the afflictions, releasing that bitterness and grabbing a hold of what God has for you. God has great things for you, beloved. Things that you could never imagine. God wants to supernaturally bless you. I urge you today, do not miss another opportunity.